So once you get to this website, um, you can scroll through it, you can look through some of these templates. Again, you're looking for something uh, that can store pictures. We're more concerned about the visual aspect of it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one here. Again, this will give you a more detailed look of it. You can kind of check it out, see if it will fit your needs. And when you're happy with it, um, oh, I guess the other thing I'll point out, you can see how this is going to look on a phone or a tablet, uh, which is kind of cool. So, you, you know, just another way that uh, people can view it. When you're happy with a theme, you go ahead and click use this theme. What you guys are going to want to do is create a personal account for this. It's free. That's why mine just says this, this random name on here. Um, but you're going to want to create uh, your, go through the process of creating your own account. Use your own personal email address. That way this will stay with you uh, after you graduate and you can continue to share this and use it. Um, so do not use your Rockford Christian account to, to create this. All right, so once you get this set up, um, it's pretty straightforward to, to customize this. You're just going to update some things here. You could put a little bit of, you know, about me. I'm learning Adobe Illustrator. Uh, I want to present uh, the mastery of my skills, etc. You know, you could put whatever in there that you want. All right, so a few things that you could do to get started is uh, you can change your background colors and edit your fonts. So depending on the template, every template is going to be different and have different options. Um, you could go with um, different fonts, different you know color schemes. So it's really just just up to you what you think looks cool. Um, some of them might let you upload a picture. I don't recommend that uh, for a background. Probably stick with a, a solid color. Um, you could create a logo for yourself. Um, and you can just play around with a bunch of this stuff. Again, I'd keep it pretty simple because we want the focus to be on the artwork and you don't need to try and do anything complex. Um, you can always preview this by coming down here and click preview. And currently I haven't posted anything and that's why it just looks so simple. And I'm going to go back to the editor and scroll back down to get a picture in. I'm going to click, you know, most of them are going to have a plus button here. I'm going to click that. Um, I'm going to click page, page title. Maybe this is uh, um, art piece one. And we'll keep that as it is. Create page. Alright, and to, um, it gives you a bunch of options. I'm just going to click image. And you'll plug in any one of your images here. And there you go. And we can preview this to see what it's going to look like. So here's our, our home screen. We scroll down. Uh, and we see that and again we can click here and it's just going to show you a bigger bigger image of it okay and to get back to the home page generally you're just going to click on the title and it will bring you to the home page from here we could add as many other pages as we want uh, and it's it's pretty much that simple so again for each template it's going to be a little bit different um, you're gonna, there's going to be some trial and error and uh, to get this to work. So again, keep it simple for yourself. When you're done, you're going to click Publish Site, and it will give you a URL link, and that's what you're going to copy and share with me.